Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna. Welcome back to the latest Benidorm news update. And today we have quite a lot of things to talk about. So stay tuned up until the end. And surprise, surprise, it's sunny and hot today back again, even though it's still technically Easter. By the way, happy Easter, everyone. Today we'll talk about the situation in tourism. We'll also let you know if everything that daily mail has posted lately about the fines you can get if you do certain things in benidorm are true or not and the last news will be about a huge operation against um, specific illegal groups that do trafficking and um, selling of some illegal items and things here in via Hoyosa and Benidorm. And obviously, we'll talk about the weather forecast for the upcoming week. Welcome to the latest news update. The first thing we'll start with, as usual, is the situation in tourism. As you all know, right now, the rentals, holiday rentals mostly, are really, really busy. Even apartments, holiday apartments for short-term tourism right now, are at 90% of capacity, which means that 90% of them are almost fully booked. Hotels, apart hotels as well, are really busy. It's more than 80% of occupancy. So Benidorm in general has a lot of people visiting it these days. Half of all the people who are here right now are national tourists and the other half are international tourists, which might be um, British, English speaking in general, Americans, uh, people from Netherlands, French, Italians, and much, much more, obviously from Scandinavian countries too. So it's really, really uh, busy. We are looking at around four or five days more of busy streets a lot of traffic and a lot of noise and starting from then the vast majority especially national tourists will go back home and continue with their usual life and work schedule and slowly but surely international tourism will start to rise up until uh, summer and in summer is when we'll have the peak of visitors as we usually uh, do so really busy year looking for us and we're anxious to see what it actually will be looking like there are a lot of bars a lot of restaurants a lot of cafeterias everything is open ice cream places are open uh, even the water pedals on the beach they're also there the cable ski they were trying it out the other day so it will be ready in no time obviously the boat excursions our private premium tours as well in the region everything will be available shortly for you to enjoy as something extra fun and unusual for your holidays here in Benidorm town and surrounding region. The second news that I wanted to share with you all is something that um, we've seen in the Daily Mail and obviously there is like a connection between the uh, British press and the Spanish one. One says one thing, the other comments on it, and vice versa. If Spain says something about holiday destinations, Daily Mail, and in general, UK press just takes it to their side. And the same happens when someone talks, especially about such an important destination for tourism as Benidorm back in UK. So what happened is that Daily Mail did post an article a few days ago saying that um, it's almost time of summer season, and these are the key points that you cannot do, strictly forbidden to do in Benidorm, if you do not want to get a big fine. And it was interesting to read. I have all the list right here and we'll go through it with you guys and we'll see if it's actually true or not. And how common it actually is in practice to get a fine on Benidorm's uh, beach. Let's uh, go, shall we? First one is to smoke at the beach. As you all know, beach areas are free of smoke zones. People need to go oh, slightly away from the beach, from the water, from where there's a lot, where there's a lot of people and uh, smoke there because on the beach there's a lot of children, there's a lot of people who are non-smokers and obviously no one needs to breathe in the smoke of other person because by our election we're non-smokers, you know, so it should not be fair 
to do it on the beach. And this is what actually happens. Some beach areas do have it as a recommendation. Others do have a fine associated with it if, if a police basically catches you doing it. The official fine for smoking on the beach will be 2,000 euros. Look at that. If you are being caught by, at night by the beach, either swimming or sleeping, then there is a fine between 750 and 1,200 uh, euros. If you decided to go for a nice swim when there is a red flag on the beach, then it's a 1,000 euros fine. Why? Because someone needs to take you out and in case something happens, you're not only putting yourself in danger, but you're also putting in danger um, people who are there to rescue you, just in case. If you're practicing uh, something with your couple on the beach, then it's going to be 750 euros fine. If you're drinking alcohol on the beach, which is also not um, possible to do, to be honest with you, it's something that is forbidden. Not even beer, not even a cocktail, which is curious because there's a lot of mojito sellers there. They do sell alcohol of a bad, of in, in a bad condition, also something that's in a bad state. They're selling it even though it's not even possible to drink alcohol on the beach. And the fine for it will be 750 euros, which is quite a lot. Fishing on the beach, depending on the way on how you are actually fishing, with which type of equipment, in this case is between 750 and 1,100 euros fine, which is also quite a lot. And it's understandable. Why? Because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of children, there are scuba divers, uh, there's a lot of different things out there that it's dangerous for people, right? It's it's very dangerous for a lot of people on the beach uh, for someone to be actually fishing. So I get why these fines are quite high. If you're planning on using shampoo, um, some hair conditioner or gel or anything, uh, then you should know that it's not possible to use it by the beach because it always runs back into the sea. And in this case, it's 650 euros fine. If you're going naked on the beach where it's not specified that it's allowed, none of the beaches here are nudist beaches, except for specific calas, which are uh, actually with signs of it. So be careful. Uh, and topless is also considered nudism, by the way. Although a lot of people don't care and we see it everywhere in every single beach we go. Topless is something usual, but 650 euros fine for it. If um, people are doing pee pee inside of the water, then it's 150 euros fine. And if you're pre booking the place uh, with your things, like pre booking with an umbrella, pre booking with like a chair or anything on the front line, then you're getting a fine of 150 euros. To build giant sand castles, this is the exact word, giant sand castles, 150 euros fine. And to play with the ball, with it, like a volleyball, football, basketball, whatever it is, like with a big ball, to play with it, where it's not designed to play, for example, between all the people or between um, right by the water, uh, then there's also a fine of 120 euros because there are specific places where people were supposed to play where it's safe both for them for their fun and for all those who came to the beach to relax and not to play any kind of sports uh, games to be honest with you um it's interesting to see these types of um, fines here in the area we've talked about it last year as well uh, right before the new summer season and this year is no exception and there it's true these fines are actually true the curious thing about it is that it does not mention it anywhere when you go to the beach they give you like basic norms obviously like no littering no smoking etc but they do not put all of them visible Tourists don't know how to access this information. How in the world should they know they cannot build giant sandcastles? Or what is even considered a giant sandcastle, you know? Or uh, like to play games, we see a lot of people playing by the water, like with a ping pong, etc. Or inside of the water. There's people who are drinking on the beach, you know? There's a lot of things that should not be done. There are being done on the beach. Um, a lot of the times because people see others doing it and they, th they think it's absolutely fine. Also, the fines are something really, really uncommon. I'm not saying people should be doing these things, but don't get me wrong. Nudism, mm, 
half of Spanish nation, especially late, obviously ladies, when they go to the beach, they are going topless. And that's absolutely fine for them. People might not be comfortable with it. That's true. But a lot of people are doing it. And if they catch you doing something like this, usually what people will say is, please don't do it. It's like a warning. First, it's a warning. They won't put usually a fine on you directly. And if after so, so many times they will see you doing it again, then that will be a fine already, which I do think is quite fair. If a lot of times you're being told you shouldn't do something and you're still doing it, while knowing it shouldn't be, then maybe the fine is the only thing that um, might change the mind of these uh, people. By the way, what not a lot of people know is that there is a line between where, where the water ends, like the beachfront, and where people are able to lay down. There are these imaginary six meters where people should not be lying down. This is the neutral territory as we like to call it. And this is where uh, it's the place left basically for people to pass because not a lot of people are coming to the beach to just to lay down. There's a lot of people walking by the seashore, enjoying the walk, uh, doing some sports. So these first six meters are left for this part, for people passing by. So if you lay down there, the lifeguard would probably let you know, um, don't do it because there's a lot of people passing by. You should be going further along into the beach line the last news that we wanted to share with you all about is something that happens every now and then somehow our region does attract um people who are not doing illegal things either someone who's hiding from someone or uh you know illegal businessmen or those who owe money to someone or those who are selling or buying or creating some illegal substances, etc. So this time, uh, our national police, it's an open investigation still, so obviously there is not a lot of details about it, and we are not going to be those who will disclose all these details um, for legal purposes, you know? So uh, what we can say is that in Villa Joyosa in Benidorm right now, according to the mass media and newspapers that we have here in the area, there is a huge operation that is still going on. So far, there's been at least 24 houses and properties that were being searched, at least 30 people who were arrested, uh, and much, much more will be happening. And all this is to catch the organization that has been um, reselling and providing with different types of drugs here in the area. In Spain, it's actually really, sadly, it's really, really common uh, drug situation. It's something that is so obvious, so common, so, uh, you know, usual thing to see, especially in nightclubs. I'm quite sure a lot of you have seen it on the British area as well. Um, it's a sad situation, but there is a lot of people who are actually doing these types of businesses. And um, National Police is tracking them through years and years in years they're checking the mobile phones they're checking different types of houses and properties but until they're not too sure obviously they're not going to make the next step and uh not so long ago there's been another band here around benidorm and now they're checking benidorm and villa joyosa obviously it's uh, it's a health hazard you know it's something that should be checked so we see a lot of police cars and this is actually why whenever you are in benidorm right now or like surrounding areas you might see three four five cars uh, of police officers just blocking a roundabout randomly or staying at some specific parts of the road we've seen it right by the cisne um, flea market outside benidorm and we've seen it quite in a few places already but this is actually why because they are waiting for someone it doesn't mean there is some danger in benidorm that you see so so many cars this is a usual thing when some specific operations are going on they're tracking something down some someone down better to say they're tracking some specific cars to see where they're going you know just monitoring the situation so benidorm is still very very safe because we have a lot of police cars on the streets of our lovely town and actually we feel even way safer that way because there's police cars passing down passing by the Levante Beach, Poniente Beach, city center, the old town, even walking. You know there's a lot of presence of authorities which also makes it feel like a safe place for your uh, holidays. And now let's talk about the weather. What is waiting for all those of you who will be coming right now on holidays to Benidorm town and how 
should the month of April be in terms of temperatures? Let's go. The weather is absolutely gorgeous today. There's barely any kind of clouds and it's really, really hot outside, which is why a lot of people are sitting down in the shade and have this nice picnic after walking in the natural park. This is very different from what we've seen just a couple of days ago when it was actually raining here in the region and it was very cold almost like an authentic winter is back. We still have quite a lot of alerts due to strong wind or strong waves in a lot of parts in Spain, but our region is not one of them. Today it's not going to be raining, but Saturday night to Sunday, so one day's time from now, it will be raining in our region but from monday onwards it's going to be like nothing has ever happened the temperatures today are of around 23 degrees on the sunshine in the next couple of days while it will be raining they will lower down a decrease up until 20 19 20 but starting from then onwards 25 26 degrees so authentic summer weather with this gorgeous sunshine is what we will have these days incredible weather in our region thank you for accompanying us for today's latest benidorm news update wish an incredible day greetings from the sunny benidorm region bye tea.